Bentley just is being real cute right now. You're adorable. Like, he just always wants to be part of the conversation. It's the cutest thing ever. It's been a minute. Spring has sprung. I have never been more excited in my life. sure you've got it back by now. I'm picking up paint today for upstairs. I don't think I'll probably get to it today, but I just wanted to pick everything up before Ottawa goes back into a red zone. I'm actually just doing curbside pickup anyway, so it really wouldn't matter. But I'm going to pick up some paint for my bedroom and my groceries for the day. All of the screens are officially in. I have every single window open in my house for the first time. Found a wasp's nest, found some mouse dropping, um, definitely need to go around and spring proof the house before bugs and things really start to get crazy out here But again, like that's what I signed up for moving out to the countryside There's something about the weather right now. There's something about the fact that it just feels like spring Finally all the best energy going down my list of Sunday just things to do. I'm in the middle of doing laundry I watered my plants and I ordered my groceries So gonna go do the pickup and then cross off everything else on here, which is actually cool Quite a bit. about the experience on a scale of one to ten did you survive is that a wink for yes are you looking at a ghost come on
gonna move until you do And this time So I want to clean all this up probably this year and then start working towards the back of the lot like throughout the years although this middle section I want to change that into a fire pit this summer so that'll probably happen and then just cleaning up like all of the just the bush but I'm keeping every single tree that's alive will stay alive there's a couple trees back there that have some sort of I forget what the tree disease is but you can tell like they're all kind of the same and they all died so I'm gonna have to cut those ones down I'm really just excited to get these planter beds planted although I think no matter what I grow it's probably gonna get eaten there was some deer here just the other morning Been rabbits, I've seen foxes, I've seen all kinds of chipmunks and squirrels, and other than that, my neighbor's dog likes to visit, and he's a super cute, like older lab. He likes to leave presents in my backyard. I have a huge, giant dog turd behind me that I'll move you away from. Bentley's going on an adventure. Bud. haircut today. Uh, we put on the screens inside my house today. I was really in a winter hibernation. That's why I haven't been posting. I feel like I was just rooting. I, I got here. I just needed to root. I've just been preparing everything for Coast Flow yoga studio that I'm launching and I've been doing all the classwork and prep work for that, which has been so much fun and just kind of getting ready for spring. So April is next week, which is a crazy thought. This year is already a quarter past. So this week is the start of all the spring cleaning that I plan on doing this year, which is quite a lot. Spring equinox was last night. I had a bonfire. sense in terms of filming but it feels really right in terms of it being golden hour and us reading our journals breathing in fresh air lately and it being warm again and the sun being out more all of these things are just elevating <laughs> elevating my energy so much i'm a winter baby so i love i love a good like deep dark surrender and renewal and rebirth but spring just feels like that growth period if this was the open journal page on this side i did like a brain dump kind of just like about how everything has literally changed so quickly from last year to now to think i was in toronto a year ago and was just getting home from my yoga teacher training it's been interesting because i feel like i'm i'm trying my best to sit down and really take it all in notice the things that maybe a year ago I was praying for that God gave me and the things that I'm praying for now that and just like putting a sense of trust and faith in that especially going into spring and not to like make this religious or anything because it's not it's more so just symbolic I feel like yeah I don't know we're getting deep man I mean we're reading our journals so how could we not get deep anyway I did just like a brain dump I talked about the things that I felt like I was holding me back and just like what I wanted to let go on this side of the journal page I wrote at the top 2021 spring equinox like every section that I wanted to feel like I was getting a spring clean for like a sense of renewal in cleaning out my closets organizing and unpacking and then just some business goals that I have for the spring with like launching a studio membership and then just launching uh, additional content membership like I have just the whole content rollout and I'm taking over just so many things business wise right now that I just feel really excited about a year ago to now. I 
was like flailing the whole time and wasn't sure what the heck was going on. I don't think anyone's known what the heck is going on. Who's to say next March I won't look back and be like, oh, now that I have those things figured out, you know? Bentley, you are so cute. Why are you so adorable? tea talk because I'm making tea for this one. I'll link the episode of this coffee talk on the screen if you guys want to watch it and come chat over this tea with me. Um, it's all about pretty much social media, balancing, self-care, and we're gonna put a mask on. I just like to sit down to film and like the first thing that ran through my head, and I, I just want to be honest about it, turned on my good old filming light and sat down and obviously I'm not wearing makeup right now and my first thought was like, oof, like am I seriously gonna film for the internet right now looking like this? And I feel like this is so telling to exactly what I'm about to talk about on camera right now. But anyway, I just wanted to throw this into the vlog because, you know, I feel like, I don't know, we just need to normalize this shit on the internet that even though I'm gonna sit there and give advice on like balancing social media, being yourself, and like I'm really working hard to embrace all of these things that I, I wish to see, like to be the change I wish to see in society and in the community around me, like just to just see people be happier, to see people be more confident in themselves, to see people just like shine and glow, but to also step and own that for myself is like an interesting, dilemma so uh, yeah I just wanted to share that everyday life shit you know thoughts that go through my head stuck at home part one but really for me it's been like part two <laughs> 